Hi, I'm Mrs. Timmons and today I'm going to show you how to start a project in Noodle Tools using Chicago Manual Style or Turabian and how some Chicago Style citations differ from what you might be used to if you've cited an MLA mainly. Um, I've got a citation comparison chart right here but I'm going to actually show you what these look like. One of the um, main differences between MLA style and Chicago Turabian style is MLA no longer requires a city and state and they like you generally to abbreviate a publisher so for example University of Chicago Press is abbreviated U of Chicago P whereas uh, Chicago Turabian still wants always a city sometimes if it's a small city a city and state and they want the full name of the publisher not abbreviated so let me show you what that looks like first in Noodle Tools I'm going to create my project and I'm going to have to remember to click Chicago style right here and then I also always want to be in advanced and um, I'm going to go ahead and use an ISBN import to bring in my first book source and that works the same as how you may be used to if you've used MLA before I've got let's say a book in hand and I want to use the ISBN so I'm going to paste it right up here import it click continue and here I've got now a lot of these are maybe editors not authors but I'm not going to worry about changing that right now what I want you to see is again the publisher is not abbreviated and Noodle Tools has interactive help so here it says the publisher's name should be written out in full in most cases but I can always click advanced help and actually find out oh but that doesn't mean they want me to put in company and incorporated and it means that I can omit the word the but otherwise I can spell out university and press so this interactive help will, will be very useful same thing with the um, publication city uh, here it says Chicago and it says please provide the name of the city and then if more than one city give only the first but my advanced help tells you that if you're not sure um, this is really helpful and if it's not clear where a city is you can also enter for example the state or the province so use the interactive help and one last thing I want to point out while I'm in here let's say that you were citing a website you had found something online the um, date accessed is a little different in Chicago than it is in MLA if I actually click in here and again read the help it says leave date access blank unless it's required or it's the only date you cite so if you're using a website and there is absolutely no other date anywhere on the website and this is the only date in your citation go ahead and provide the date of access but otherwise for a website when you have other dates leave this blank so that is another difference